So what's up weekly is here again. I think I'm slowly going to try to move a lot of those like rambling intros that slide into other videos here so that every Monday I can talk about what my goals were for last week, um, what went well, what did not, what the plan is for this week, um, and adjust things on the fly because you know, things change. Um, so last week, uh, ads went live on this channel and I've talked a little bit in previous videos about, um, kind of letting the algorithm see if it can figure it out so that I don't have to manually place them. If YouTube big brain can focus on handling that side of things, um, and I can be over here just focused on content, that would be better. Already I see comments shifting from what the heck I just got slammed with 90 million ads. Is there even a video in here to, Hey, mine has quite a few little ad markers, but I'm not even getting ads when I come across them. Uh, maybe I'm getting one or two. I've been watching it myself and I've gone from five on some down to two, uh, to the other day. I just didn't have any, didn't even have any ad markers, just like a whole 30 minute video, totally ad free. Um, and so that it tells me that they're adjusting very quickly. So, um, just letting that do its thing. That's the biggest announcement right up front. Other than that, thanks for everybody hitting subscribe. Um, big, big week for having subscribe. And I am back again on Twitch once again for another week, uh, 8 AM to 2 PM central standard Monday through Friday, work to game with the number two link is in the description of all my videos. Now we'll start building that description out to be more and more informative as we go. I don't want to just copy paste work to games and assume that all that stuff needs to be there. I'll add things as they make sense. Uh, goals this week, everything was world of Warcraft and final fantasy based. So I had gold, uh, golden gill, gill, uh, goals because like when I first started out doing all these goals, I was like, yeah, that's something that I want to do that actually hasn't turned out to be something that I'm making a priority of. And it's not something I think I want to make a priority of moving forward. Um, I'll keep kind of going over how much I made each week, just to kind of like, I think that's a good kind of barometer. Um, I made about 500,000 over on final fantasy and I made about 50,000, um, profit on wow that moved me up to 850 net worth on final fantasy i spent a lot so i'm actually down in net worth um i spent a lot of, i've started dipping into leveling crafters and that just gets very expensive as we prepare for 541 um that's something that it, it makes sense there, there's going to be money kind of bleeding there for a bit but hopefully i can start kind of getting it going the other direction i think net worth is somewhere in like the mid to upper 7 million range um, as opposed to I'm at 850,000 net worth, um, liquid money on, uh, on world of Warcraft. So we'll see if we can kind of get those in an upward trend. I would love to be at that kind of 10 million, at least get back to having that extra digit around on final fantasy. And then I would love to have that extra comma, that first second comma, uh, over on world of Warcraft in total liquid gold. I, I think that would be really neat. Um, something that I've never been able to sustain. And once I get there, I kind of want to be really careful about giving it up. Um, and, uh, that's, that's kind of where that is at with tanks. Um, wow is falling a bit further behind. So I need to make a priority of that. I've had a chance to end some of my streams with like collabing with other guests or with, uh, hanging out with Brian. And typically I kick wow to the end of stream. And so then wow just falls off. Um, I am 40 one on my paladin and that's who's in last place on my tanks on world of warcraft i am 78 or above on all four tanks in final fantasy i have a total of four levels to go i have two level 78s my dark knight and my paladin um and then those will be done and i'll be able to start working on crafters and gatherers through all 541 content i'll be doing that while balancing it with uh, anytime dual stream is going on i'll be balancing it with leveling those the last of those tanks by the end of the month i would love to so by next week um, I would ideally, at this point, I don't want to necessarily set like hard goals as far as where each job, each class wants to go in WoW, because I want to make sure that I'm always just leveling rested because I have so many levels to go. Um, I think total it's, it works out to something like 60 levels or something, um, that I'd rather just kind of chip away at the total number, um, and not do anything, any one particular class where it gets to being unrested. Um, so I'd like to gain five to 10 levels a week. Um, so I'm already at one for today, not bad. And I'd like to set kind of one as my like, okay, that needs to get done at the end of stream. And then from there go up to, okay, you know, but beyond two, then I can start to say, okay, if there's something else going on in game, I've done my two for the day, that leveling no longer needs to be a priority. I think leveling all my tanks is my priority followed by leveling my crafters on both games, leveling crafters on wow. It's basically final fantasy 14's auto synthesis system. Um, it's very straightforward. You have the materials, you say craft, it has a cast bar. It's done. That's it. It's really not anything too complex beyond that. So I would love to kind of get all of them to have at least one of every profession capped in wow. 
but I would also love to have them all captain 14. 14, those are literal whole jobs. So they have experience. Um, so I'm level 60 on all of them and I need to get to 80. Um, I'm 60 or greater. And so I, I've got my armor is at 80 and then every, everybody else is either at 60 or, or stuck somewhere in the, the landscape in between. And so I'd love to kind of push that along. Um, and that's kind of my big goals for this week is just focus on getting into crafting and gathering in Final Fantasy, keeping the tanks moving along in WoW, um, and then focus on these collabs. I'm probably going to drop starting this week. It started yesterday kind of unofficially because I had a lot going on this weekend. Um, and it's uh, some of that being that my, my wife asked me to kind of get some things done, like get the TV where it's not sitting on the the coffee stand, get it mounted to the wall. And so that's done. Um, deep clean the bathroom, wasn't urgent, that's done. And then uh, I need to do the compost pile and I need to do um, finish my nightstand. But we got snow in Texas this weekend, so I couldn't do either of those things. Um, so those are, and those, I only say those to you guys because the guys, uh, the everybody hanging out on stream actually said like, hey, you need to get your stuff done around the house. Uh, go do that. And so a few of you actually uh, donated on stream and made it very clear that like, hey, I'm donating so that you will go do your stuff outside. So, uh, you know, not something I asked for, but something you guys did anyway. So I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> thank you for pushing me into things I wouldn't have done otherwise. And it's weird that that wasn't truly gaming related. Um, beyond that, uh, I am... I am looking at collabs. Um, I have some big projects I'm working on, uh, A Realm Revoiced being the one that I can tell you guys about, but I have some others I'm working on in the background and I don't want to kind of announce them until I know exactly what they are and how they're timed, um, if they even happen. Uh, ones this week, uh, on Tuesday, I have a collab with Ethis Asher on stream from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and, and so when we're done talking, that'll be the end of stream. Uh, like today I did Heaven on High with Brian and that ended stream a little bit early because that's when he finished and we were able to record. We recorded two posts for work to game this week. Hopefully we'll get a chance to sit down and record more um, before he was needed uh, to go off and, and deal with their army of children. So um, they they uh, the goal is that work to game will have stuff going live at noon every day or Brian will be joining me on stream or both. Uh, that's where work to games headed Monday through Friday. Weekends are still kind of a fuzzy thing for both of us. Um, and then uh, my goals are to have more collaborative stuff going on um, when Brian can't be there. I just want to keep moving forward and making things more exciting for you guys. So I have a project on Wednesday. I'm not really ready to announce, but I am ready to say like I am working on something else this week with another creator that I hope um, can turn into something or can be the seed that turns into something else turning into something if that makes sense like this may not be the content that makes sense i may try this and it may not really be what i intended and then we'll i'll just pivot and and hopefully this is what kind of lays the groundwork for another form of content being here on the channel uh and then now that i'm over a thousand subscribers because you guys because you guys hit subscribe and you guys watch so much content so fast all of my features here on youtube didn't unlock in the normal order because i guess at youtube they're not all being approved by the same entity like different bots and people are doing different things so like i actually got my community tab to tag other creators after i hit monetization which is super weird not at all how that's intended to work they have very different requirements and the community tab is a lot lower than monetization but you know when a channel just blows up, I guess their system isn't set to account for that. And I guess their theory is you wouldn't have another channel where you already know about this, or if you do, you'd grow so fast, they'd all unlock at once. And um, I was somewhere in between where like, I knew how it was supposed to unlock, but it actually came in over a series of days over the last like week or two weeks. So I think I have all the features now that I want. Um, it doesn't for some reason have live streaming unlocked yet, but I'm not going to live stream here. So it's not a big deal, but uh, I think there's a couple of things that are just lagging behind with just their approval process, but it has everything I want. And so that'll also let me start maybe trying some stuff where I tag at other creators and things like that, which lends itself to more collaborative or reactionary content, um, and trying to be more like involved in what all is going out in the community, what all is going out in the space, who's saying what, and do I have an opinion on that? Um, since this is mostly an opinion channel or just a like light educational channel and that my goal is to kind of just show you guys maybe parts of gaming that you don't have time or you've never had an interest in getting into um, and ideally put in a format that makes sense from where you're coming from. So that's where a lot of this 14 versus WoW comes from. 
maybe you play one of those games or you have played one of those games. Maybe you haven't played the other or it's been a while. Um, and this will help you kind of understand what's going on in both. And should I ever add a third MMO or, or more, then those would just be layered on top. And so then it would be, okay, this is what's going on in this game, and this is what that would be in terminology in the other two games, which actually might help give it even more context, because for anybody familiar with WoW and 14, if there's something going on in a third game, um, it might actually be something that splits the difference between the parallel WoW and 14 systems that are both like 60% the same, 40% unique. It might be some mix of what makes those systems unique. So I think it'll help start establishing a this versus that, two sides of the same coin, um, and start being, okay, now there's more of a spectrum within each form of content. Here's here's what difficulty means across these games. Here's what PVP means across these games. Here's what gearing means across these games. So I think having more games will help me better understand what's going on in the space. Uh, and that's why I appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving on the Sunday post. Um, talking about what games I'm looking forward to this year. Uh, and in that context, like one of the things I'm hoping to get from that community is getting a feel for you guys. Like what games should I be keeping an eye on? Um, and then, you know, when I go and look at those games to pick which one works for me, like I've at least got some context of what maybe people, people who have or are looking to or are actively playing those games feel about that. Um, so that's really, it's it's great. The, the feedback's awesome. Um, I really appreciate it. And so uh, on Wednesday, I've got that secret project that will come to this channel. Um, so that will get filmed. It will come here. It just depends on how uh, we, I don't have a time of day yet that we've totally nailed down me and the guest. So that'll determine when it goes live here. Thursdays, we're going to do that co-stream again. The first one was an hour long because I misclicked and we were not, we were supposed to run Sestasha and RFC, which are both like 15 minute dungeons or less. And instead we also ran Maradon because I'm bad. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That format, I would love for it to be more streamlined and faster. Step one, don't run Maradon, like when you don't need to. So like that already slims that down. That's fine. Um, if you add trials plus four mans and you and you add up all of the normal dungeons, uh, the games are both in that 120, 130 dungeon range. We've only committed to doing this for four weeks so far, but that means even if we extend it and say, you know what, let's do it through February. Hey, let's do it through March. Like we could continue extending it for two years before we've got a problem. Um, and somewhere in there, there's new expansions. So it's probably two years and some months. So we've, we've got a long way to go before that's a problem. And, uh, and the discussion piece, um, you know, that's, that's Xandri's piece of content. So definitely go bug her on stream, uh, to post that to Xandblast Productions or, or whatever her YouTube channel is. She was changing it so that it's easier to find. Um, but definitely go give that a follow, um, as well. So you can see the second half of that video. If you're not able to be with us live, on Thursdays uh, from noon to two central. It'll be kind of that whole time window. And if it ends early, um, I'll go ahead and end stream and raid her. So like we'll start on my stream with both showing or you're welcome to just see her screen on hers. Um, and then when that segment ends, however long that segment runs each week, it will always end in me tossing everybody watching my side over to her. And that'll be the end of stream on Thursdays. Um, Brian and I are clearing Palace of the Dead because we died in heaven on high at 56 so we're clearing palace of dead right now so we're having fun collaborating and we are preparing for february 5th the showcase event so we've we've got lots planned between now and the end of the month and then lots planned for february and even some stuff planned for the event itself so it's it's a lot going on um and really i'm just focused on trying to get myself into as prepared a state as possible um, the support from you guys the comments the follows hanging out on stream chatting um everybody watching the content. Um, and then of course the, the monetary component of this, that, um, is a, is a sad reality of content creation that, you know, you, you can't, you can't pay your bills with, with just making good content unless there's a, a part that is monetized somehow. Um, and so all of this has just been so positive and I think I'm going to try to keep, um, this to being like the announcements every week. Um, so that you guys know that weekly update is that chance to kind of get a feel for what the channel is doing. And then each video, because anybody new that finds the channel may just want the video that they clicked on. That's fair. Um, the, each video 
over time, like I can start turning that video into more of its thing. Um, and then I'd like each video like this to start taking on a flavor of its own. So um, if you find that certain videos of mine really are something you like, then I'm trying to start using playlists. And so like, what's the deal with that is me just explaining something. It's just me giving context to something. Um, and it is the format that has been the majority of gaming kind of posts so far. Um, and then I have the dungeon versus dungeon with Sandry. Um, and I have like channel news, which will be if like something, um, something big is changing or something like there's something going on. Um, th that'll probably very, very rarely be posted to. Um, and then, um, this will go under weekly update. And so like, and then a realm revoiced will be just the voiceover stuff. So like I'll keep as a piece of content comes online, that's meant to be kind of its own thing. The evolution of whatever that is will go under a playlist and then recent posts will grab everything. Um, so if you just want to know if you've missed anything, either go to the videos tab or go to recent posts. And that's just, that's just a playlist of all the things that you could have possibly missed. Um, so Hopefully that all makes sense. I don't know what this post needs to be. I, I think timing wise, I've got time on the clock because this has been a very long winded channel um, that I'm at 15 minutes now and I think I could go even faster with less announcements moving forward. So this might be a post that starts to evolve to not just include what's going on in my life in the last week and what's coming up in the next week, but also starting to include a little bit about kind of news um, and what's going on in the games, you know, seasonal events, patch notes, um, things like that. And then I'd like to start kind of segmenting these and using the, uh, the bar down below. I think if, if you put timestamps, if they're very, if there are very clear, if it's not just me rambling into space and there are very clear delineations, you can timestamp it down there. Like with that one hour video, that's what I did. And that lets you, that lets you click to just the section you want. So then I can do my, what's going on in my channel and my goals rambling. And then I can do what's going on in this game and what's going on in this game. And I can ideally, segment those so i think this will slowly probably turn into more of like a philip defranco type th thing um i think is where i'm probably going to start steering it and then uh any feedback from you guys and anything i i kind of learn along the way or i find joy in will help kind of guide that along that path uh that is it that's that's the end of me rambling that's the weekly update uh and what's going on this week lots and lots of streaming um, I am going to start really trying to hit it harder on some of the longer form quality content. Um, and so that's why I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and probably start dropping from 14 posts to slowly working my way down towards seven. But I said, if you guys continue to support me, it's because I was going to keep leveling things up and just know that that's actually because I'm trading those posts in where I sit down and I record and I throw my face onto the internet. I'm actually trading for those for something that takes even more effort and ideally is something that um, can be even more awesome for you guys. So I have some plans. Um, I am still planning on uh, continuing to work the same number of hours and uh, putting in the same level of effort or more um, to create something that is as good or better than what you guys have gotten so far. So big thanks to everybody that's hit subscribe. And this is still just, it's, it's just as experiment of what you guys are like and, and what I like and what the algorithm is willing to show people. <laughs> and, uh, and, and the only thing binding this channel together is that it's all about gaming, kinda. <laughs>